Hey, hey Mule Riders. Riders. I'm Reagan. And I'm Morgan. And we realize that the transition from face-to-face -face classes to online are going to be a challenge for all of us. So we're here today to bring you some good news and hopefully explain the new grading scale that will be used for all undergraduate courses this semester. A is four GPA points per credit hour, just like usual. B is three GPA points per credit hour, just like usual. C is two GPA points per credit hour, still like usual. D is CR and you will receive credit for the course, but it will not affect your GPA. F is NC and you will receive no credit for the course, but it will not affect your GPA. In fact, it won't even count as a D or F. Instead of a D, you'll get a CR or credit. Instead of an F, you'll get an NC or no credit. Here we have an example of Molly Ann's final grades for spring 2020. Molly Ann took biology, biology lab, comp two, college algebra, personal finance, and film appreciation. All classes were worth three credit hours except her biology lab that was worth one. Molly Ann did pretty well, but she did have trouble in college algebra and real trouble in film appreciation. For this semester only, that D will be worth credit but will carry no weight towards Molly Ann's GPA. In fact, it won't be a D at all. On Molly Ann's transcript, it will be recorded as CR. Now let's take a look at that F that Molly Ann got in film appreciation. Instead of an F, the grade on her transcript will re be recorded as NC. She will not receive credit for the class, but it won't hurt her GPA. With the D and F not counting, Molly Ann's GPA for the semester would be 3.3. Good for you, Molly Ann. Morgan, let me get this right. So you're saying if I got a D in the class, it would be better than if I got a B or a C because it wouldn't hurt my GPA? Well, Regan, I definitely wouldn't say that. It's important to point out that many classes are prerequisites for other courses and require a C or better. For instance, some students that need to take Comp 2 have to take Comp 1 and pass with at least a C. Also, a lot of professional and graduate schools require you to have a C in specific courses. Long story short, the new grading scale allows students to continue to have the opportunity to satisfy prerequisites for many courses and programs. So, how does this grading scale help students, like myself, that are nervous about online instruction? The non-punitive grades are earning a D or F that will not impact students' GPA will help those students that are apprehensive about completing the online courses. The drop date has also been extended so that students can get acquainted with the online structure before they decide to drop the course. So when is the new drop date? The drop date has been moved to April 24th. So can I be placed on academic suspension or probation because of my grades this semester? Oh, no. We don't want anyone to lose their academic standing just because of the transition to online classes. All in all, we hope this grading system will ease your mind and calm the anxieties that you may be feeling as you begin your online courses. Yeah, after all, we're all in this together, you, me, us, and our professors. We're all learning as we go, and we'll get through this. Just remember, stay connected. Wash your hands. And, and stay, stay home. home.